This is absolutely crazy, you guys. If you wanna see the difference between this bed and, and this bed, check it out. So what was the big difference between those beds? Well, it wasn't fertilizing, it wasn't watering, it wasn't soil, it was this. This is Sassy Lass, and I am stoked about it. You guys, I'm so stoked about this because as you can tell, the results speak for themselves, but uh, I will be upfront and honest that Am I Gardener is selling this. I wanna come out right off the bat because I don't wanna be seen as uh, you know, a snake oil salesman. I don't wanna be seen as like some gimmicky guy trying to push products. I just wanna help your garden grow better and I wanna produce this video because we've been using this in our garden and I think it would make a huge difference in your garden. Now, this is not a fertilizer. This is not a soil amendment. This is a soil microbial booster. And what this does is it actually enhances the microbial life in your soil because any organic gardener will tell you that a healthy soil is the foundation for a healthy garden. The soil is actually teeming with beneficial bacteria and fungi. And those beneficial bacteria and fungi actually help to feed your plants. They help to reduce stress. They help to reduce stress from things like heat or drought, um, pH swings. And so having a healthier soil, mosquitoes are crazy today. <laughs> All that rain we had, the, the mosquitoes have just been going nuts. But uh, having a stable soil pH is so important and, and can actually help reduce plant stress in that way as well. But beneficial bacteria and fungi go out and they mine minerals. They actually will go out and they will find uh, organic uh, compounds. They'll actually break them down and make them plant available. So things like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, all your trace minerals, your macronutrients, they can actually be broken down and they are fixed to the plant through beneficial bacteria and fungi. This is a well-known concept and one that organic gardeners rely on day in and day out. And we don't even realize what's going on because it's so microscopic, yet so important to our garden. So how does this help, uh, how does this help boost beneficial bacteria and fungi? Well, this helps by feeding the colonies. This contains a molasses concentrate and it also has 1% humic and 2% fulvic acids. Having those humic and fulvic acids, which, uh, which we'll get into, are very important to stabilize and, and kind of uh, make a healthy environment for those beneficial bacteria and fungi, as well as plant roots to, uh, to survive and thrive in, in the rhizosphere of your soil. And the rhizosphere is the very important uh, two to four inches of your soil where most of the plant life thrives and feeds your plants. So that's where most of the plant roots are, uh, are concentrated as well. And there's no question why uh, the, the highest concentration of beneficial bacteria and fungi are also found where the highest concentration of roots are. That's because they live symbiotically together. But this also, like I said, contains a, uh, a concentrate of molasses. And molasses is a carbohydrate source. It helps to feed those beneficial bacteria and fungi in your soil. So if you have soil that's been depleted because it's been hot and dry, or it's been uh, not regularly amended, or because it's been rototilled, it's been flipped, it's been disturbed, these are all reasons why, uh, why um, beneficial bacteria and fungi can be depleted. If your soil is left bare for the sun to beat down on it, that can actually kill off beneficial bacteria and fungi as well through solar radiation. And so it's very important that we build those colonies back up. It's important because it's important for our plants to be healthy. And so what this does is it feeds the beneficial bacteria and fungi. Um, they use this to, to multiply in your soil. And once they've multiplied in your soil, they can fixate to, uh, to those plant roots and the plants then will feed them the sugars that they need through photosynthesis. This just kind of it kind of bridges that gap to, uh, to make the connection and help to enhance the amount of colonies of beneficial bacteria and fungi in your soil. Having more colonies just means better results and a higher probability of them making that connection. Like I said, this is not a fertilizer. This is not a soil amendment. This is a soil microbial booster. The humic and fulvic acids are used to actually stabilize the soil. They reduce pH swings in the soil. Humic and fulvic acids are done to reduce the wild pH swings so that the rhizosphere is kept at a nice stable pH so that the beneficial bacteria and fungi are not killed off through wild pH swings. That can mess up their equilibrium and it can really wreak havoc on a garden. It can also wreak havoc on plant roots and their ability to uptake nutrients.
You see plant roots, they really like a very, uh, a very stable pH. They might like slightly acidic soil. They might like slightly alkaline soil. They might like neutral soil, but they don't like alkaline acid, neutral acid, alkaline. That, that roller coaster is never good, but it can happen in your soil from uh, things like acid rain, from uh, city water, which is typically a little bit more on the acidic side. It can happen from just natural soil, uh, uh, soil chemistry, um, things like limestone in your soil, things like a higher sand content in your soil. Those things can all have wild swings in your pH and stabilizing that pH can really help to go a long way at just making it more, uh, more livable and more uh, you know, just better for plant roots uh, all around. So uh, that's what we've been adding. Now, how much have we been adding? This is a concentrate. We've been adding two tablespoons per gallon. We've been watering this bed every other week. We've been doing that to prove a point. Now, uh, the other bed has been watered twice a week as well with just regular rainwater coming from our rain barrel. The rainwater also was used to make, uh, to make the, uh, the solution using the concentrate as well. So we used rainwater in both instances. We watered them the same amount in both instances. Uh, they're the same types of plants. They're both the same types of zucchinis, and they are both um, they are both uh, in the same soil type. And everything has been kept consistent using fertilizer, uh, which is the same as well. So nothing has changed. The bed that you saw that was kind of uh, scraggly and slightly anemic, um, a little bit stressed and yellow, those uh, those were all the same as these, which are thriving and green. Now, some further evidence besides just the fact that they look better, how have they yielded? Well, they've yielded amazing. Check it out. This is just amazing, you guys. These plants are absolutely incredible. They're so green, they're so healthy, and despite all the rain and the heat and the humidity, they are far healthier, they are far greener, and they're far more productive. I've got some in here. Um, these are crazy how productive these plants are and you know what i just harvested two but i want to show you guys just how amazing these are because the camera angle that i have just does not do justice for how uh, healthy and productive these plants are and then we'll go into the big difference in yield between these plants so check it out all right check it out so here's another zucchini this is from the same plant Here's another zucchini from the same plant. Check it out. Coming over here, look at this. Same plant. Coming over here, same plant. These plants are just absolutely loaded. This is no magic trick, you guys. This is simple science. A healthy plant can produce far more than a stressed plant because a stressed plant is focusing on trying to heal from what's stressing it. A healthy plant can focus more energy on producing fruit because it doesn't have to heal from all the stress. And so this plant can produce six beautiful zucchinis to those plants maybe one to two. And this has been going on like this all year long. Now, when they first started and before the stress really took hold, um, they, there wasn't a huge difference. They were both producing about two to three zucchinis on average, but when this plant took hold, it actually started producing more zucchinis. I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting six zucchinis now about every four to six days. Those plants I'm getting one to two zucchinis on and their production has actually dropped as the season has gotten hotter and a little more you know, wild and unpredictable. And so the stress is starting to take its toll on those plants. As you can see kind of the yellow and sparse leaves and lack of production, these plants are still green, they're still beautiful and they're still producing. Now, how much difference in fruit production does that equate to over the course of this year? Well, this bed has produced 34 pounds of zucchini over this entire season. That bed has produced 16 pounds. 
So a slightly over double the amount of fruit production from this bed. Is that any coincidence? Healthier produces more than double. Kind of speaks for itself. And finally, what I really wanted to do was to share with you the results that I got from my soil test. So because plant health, fruit yield, plant color, all those things can be rather subjective, I wanted to see if there was an actual effect on microbial health. Because after all, this is a microbial booster. And so before we even bottled this up in our test trials, we sent off a soil sample. The soil sample came back and I was amazed. It was the green light for me to say this in fact is working and this in fact is an amazing product and this in fact is why we're having the amazing results. What you'll notice from the soil sample is that bed A is the bed that was fed with Sassy Lass. Bed B was fed without. Everything was kept consistent as I said before. And what you'll notice is the colony count. The colony count per square inch of soil is dramatically higher. There were three samples done throughout bed A and three samples done throughout bed B. And what you'll find is that we're talking 30 to 45% higher colony counts in bed A over bed B. Now that is amazing. And in my opinion, that is, stati that is statistically significant. So the fact that I'm getting six zucchinis compared to an average of two, the fact that the plants are still green and thriving compared to kind of stressed and leggy, the fact that uh, the plants, you know, it's just, I can go on and on, but the fact of the matter is this stuff is just absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna have it up on our website. If you wanna check it out, uh, you can check it out. Like I said, this is a, uh, this is a molasses concentrate with 1% humic and 2% fulvic acid. Um, that's all that's in this. It is a concentrate, so you wanna dilute this in water and there are simple instructions on how to do it. I simply take two tablespoons per gallon of water and I water my plants. I use it as a root drench. So make sure you drench the roots deeply and uh, it's fantastic. There's a lot of uses. You can use this on uh, vegetables, flowers, you know, perennials, annuals, fruit trees, ornamentals, doesn't matter. Any plant can benefit from this because any plant is going to benefit from having healthy bacteria and fungi. So um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed I hope that you guys will check this out. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to post them in the comments box below. I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, like I said, you can check this out over at migardener.com. So I'll catch you all on the next episode. As always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. And we'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.